To complete this chain, let's say we want to have even more control, like on those records where we can hear the vocal very close right in the face, but we still hear the reverb tail. The technique I'm showing you is often used by top audio engineers. It's called in this video, we're gonna build a professional reverb chain and we're gonna go through step by step on how to build it for your own vocals. Recently, a new reverb plugin called AutoTune Vocal Reverb was released, and I truly like this plugin. It has inspired me to create this video for you. I'm going to share links to the plugins we use in the video as well as to the complete reverb chain. This is my vocal processing chain. I'm going to disable the original reverb. Before we dive in, let's just take a listen to get an idea about the original recording. This all leads me to the fact High tech, such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through Balance change the point of view Can you tell me who is in charge? Once the stream is turning dark Can you tell me who is in charge? Okay, so the first and most important step that I and most audio engineers do is to bust this signal to an aux channel where we build our new reverb chain. There are several reasons to do that, but most importantly for me, it allows greater control over the effect. I'm gonna choose bus 11, but you can choose any bus you like and I'm gonna send all the signal in. I'd like to set up this reverb chain in Wave Studio Rack so that you can use it in any DAW you like and we have auto-tune vocal reverb here. A lot of you just looking for the perfect reverb sound instantly for your vocals. This reverb takes that idea to the next level because it has an AI powered assist feature that intelligently creates the reverb sound that fits your vocals the best. First, I'm gonna use this important feature to get the reverb sound we like. Then we will adjust it inside in the plugin too. Let me dial it in real quick and then we will talk about it a little bit more. Tell me who is in charge Once the stream is turning dark Can you tell me who is in charge? We already have a decent reverb sound. You can see the visual representation of the reverb that's added to the signal. Let's listen to it in solo. So I'm gonna solo the reverb. There are some basic settings that you normally find on a reverb. Now I don't want to dive in too deep because this video is not really a plugin review, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things I like to use on the reverb. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit the way I like and I'm gonna explain what we've done. the EQ and the tone shaper to filter out some of the lows and the highs. I've also adjusted the DK and we experimented with a couple of reverb styles. I like to use the diffusion knob on a reverb to set the echo density. That's quite an important knob for me as well. Moving on, we're gonna use an EQ to shape it further and we want to be a bit more surgical. This time we're gonna use the auto-tune vocal EQ. Such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through Balance change the point of view Can you tell me who is in charge? Once the stream is turning dark Can you tell me who is in charge? This all leads me to the fact High tech, such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through Balance change the point of view You can see we went quite aggressive with this, we made further cuts 
and a couple of dips too, I like to keep just essential part of the reverb that complements the vocal. To complete this chain, let's say we want to have even more control, like on those records where we can hear the vocal very close right in the face, but we still hear the reverb tail. The technique I'm showing you is often used by top audio engineers, it's called sidechain compression, where they use a dry vocal signal to trigger the compressor. It means while the vocal is performing, the compressor makes that ducking effect on the reverb, allowing the vocal to come out clean. And when the vocal stops, you will hear the nice reverb tail. So we have the compressor here. Let's put it in sidechain mode. In this case, in Studio Rack, it will monitor the dry input. However, if you don't use Wave Studio Rack, you will need to select the input that triggers the compressor. I'm going to set it up first and I'm going to explain what we've done. So leads me to the fact. High tech, such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through Balance change the point of view Can you tell me who is in charge? Once the screen is turning dark Can you tell me who is in charge? This all leads me to the fact High tech, such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through when I apply sidechain compression on a vocal reverb, I prefer using quick attack to keep the vocal as clean as possible. As I set up the release, I try to find a sweet spot to blend the vocal with its tail. I'm gonna show you what I mean, but with the threshold and the ratio, you can go as aggressive as I did. Or if you want your vocal a bit more wet, you can go less aggressive. It depends on what you are going for. So I wanna show you only the reverb real quick. I've added some macros for you. Now let's do an AB with the whole reverb chain. First, I'm gonna turn it off. This all leads me to the fact. High tech, such a major impact. Controversy, let me see it through. Balance change the point of view. Can you tell me who is in charge? Once the stream is turning dark. Can you tell me who is in charge? This all leads me to the fact High tech, such a major impact Controversy, let me see it through Balance change the point of view Can you tell me who is in charge? Once the stream is turning dark Can you tell me who is in charge? I've uploaded this reverb chain to Studioware so you can download it for free using the link in the description. I hope you have a lot of fun with these settings and if you like the plugins and you like to check them out, I dropped you affiliate links as well. As we step into the new year, I just want to send out my continued thoughts to everyone. If you are facing challenges, remember you are not alone in this. I want to support each of you as all of us are going through different things at different times, but we share the collective journey. I hope some of the videos have been helpful this year. Much love to you all and I hope to see you soon.